Molding sand basically consists of like two ingredients. One is very fine sand and the other is clay. Um, you can find tons of different types of clay out there, but the best two for this is probably fire clay and bednite clay. Um, you'll need very fine like sand, silica sand works. I also bought um, high desert sand. It's also pretty fine. For clay, I got bednite clay. I got around like 15 pounds of it off of eBay. When we mix the sand and the clay, um, both ingredients have to be totally dry, so um, my sand was a little damp, so I let it um, dry in the sun for a while. The next step you might want to take is um, if you bought fine sand, but you can see like bigger bits in it, um, you can put it through like a mesh sort of door screen, um, which um, drops into a bucket. As you can see, I've sifted some of the sand through the mesh and already have like some of these like bigger chunks of rock and some of it is just clumped up sand that I might have to crush later so yeah alright guys so I filtered out um, all the sand with the mesh over there and now I have this like really fine sort of stuff which is good and um, here are the bigger stuff that I filtered out some actually pretty big pieces in there and you don't want those getting in your mold whatever you're casting and so now I'm going to weigh this um, bucket over here and put the sand in and see how much uh, this finer stuff weighs. I actually don't have a uh, big scale so it looks like I'm going to have to measure this sand out one pound at a time. As you can see I've measured out one pound now all I have to do is do that about a billion more times. That's 26 pounds right there that I measured one pound at a time and here's last about seven ounces. Alright, I'll be right back. Okay, now we need to mix the uh, bednite clay with the uh, sand, or if you have a different type of clay, you can mix it with the sand. Um, there's different percentages for different types of clay. You can just look it up in line. Um, so the percentage for this is around like 10%, and I calculated that 10% um, of 27 pounds is around like two and three-fourths of a pound, so... I'm going to measure out two and three fourths of a pound of the bednite clay. Here are the last like 12 ounces of the clay. So I'm just going to take the clay and put it in here and mix it. I've already put the other two pounds in there, so now it's like two and three fourths of a pound, and now I'm going to mix it. I just finished mixing the bednite clay in the sand. I also added like a handful of flour. It's supposed to like help it stick together um, better. So after you've mixed like all your um, sand and bednite clay or other type of clay and flour um, you're going to want to put water or mix water in it and basically you want to only mix enough water so it becomes damp and a test you can do is you can take a handful and then squeeze it and then it becomes like this sausage shape and then you can break it in half and see if it crumbles see mine just breaks in half and so this stuff is um, our finished product. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, in my next video we'll be learning how to make a flask which basically holds the sand. Um, if you have any questions about this video though you can comment in the comment section below. Um, I will reply to all comments. So